today the topic we are going to discuss is SIADH versus cerebral salt wasting so I will quickly tell you the differences between these two so, so first of all we will talk about the cause SIADH the causes are mostly the similar tumor trauma infection problems with CNS surgery subarachnoid hemorrhage but the main mechanism what is the different between the mechanism in both of these so in SIADH there is increased ADH production while in case of cerebral salt wasting there are increased atrial natriuretic peptide and brain natriuretic peptide so there are increase in natriuretic peptides <clears throat> what causes adh is that adh leads to increase in water retention this increase in water retention leads to like this was previously this water and this is now retained and this is our sodium and this is our sodium now so now the water is increased because of increase in ADH this there is dilutional hyponatremia these are the sodium molecules so because the fluid is more solute is less and we have dilutional hyponatremia and because there is reduced um, urine production because uh, like reduced water excretion in the urine the urine is hyper or smaller okay the next point is that in this case cerebral salt wasting we have uh, these natriuretic peptides that leads to increase in sodium excretion in urine so there is as we discussed previously here not only uh, the sodium is excreted more in urine it takes water with uh, it also so here we see that there is now reduced not only reduced water inside the body but also the sodium so this was the sodium before now we have this sodium so here we have reduced sodium serum sodium as well as reduced in volume this is siadh state is mostly euvolemic state or it can be uh, and it is mostly hypovolemic state The urine will be here also uh, hyper or smaller but it is because there is increase in sodium excretion so the main differences are that because of increased ADH there is water retention and there is dilutional hyponatremia uh, serum sodium will be low urinary sodium can be high or normal and urine um, will be more hyper or smaller the the other thing is in case of cerebral salt wasting there is increased sodium excretion in urine and there will be hypovolemic state because there not only there is loss of sodium but there is also loss of water 
and um, so more sodium will be excreted in urine last thing is that in case of management here we restrict the fluid and here we give fluids so it is very important because we may find um, in similar labs like uh, serum sodium is low urine sodium is high so what to do when we don't know the pathophysiology then we can not manage the patient correctly so it's very important to consider these points if you have any query you can ask me anytime in the chat group um, uh, in the face on the facebook group or in the comments there's also a detailed video on diabetes in speeders si idiot and cyber salt wasting that uh, link i will write in the description and you can see from there thank you so much for listening bye